You wake up, grab your phone, and see a notification that your account has been suspended for violating terms of service you've never read. No warning, no appeal, just locked out of your email, your photos, your bank login, everything you've built online for the past decade. What if the technology designed to protect you could trap you in a digital prison with no escape route? Today, I'll explain how passkeys create vendor lock-in nightmares like you're five years old. By the end, you'll understand whether this convenient new technology is worth risking permanent lockout from your entire digital life. Here's the deal with passkeys that nobody's telling you. Tech companies are pushing them hard because they're supposed to be the future. Safer than passwords, more convenient, basically unhackable. And honestly, they do solve real problems. No more trying to remember if your password has an exclamation point or a question mark. No more getting fished by fake login pages. Passkeys use cryptographic keys that live on your device or in your cloud account. When you want to log in somewhere, your phone just confirms it's really you with biometric verification or a simple PIN. Sounds perfect, right? But here's where it gets dangerous. With a traditional password, even if one company bans you, you still have your password. You can write it down, store it somewhere, use it to prove who you are to a support team, the password exists independently of any single company's opinion of you. But passkeys are different. They're cryptographic keys stored by a specific company's ecosystem, usually Apple, Google, or Microsoft. If that company suspends your account, your passkey can vanish or become completely inaccessible. No password reset link in your email because your email is what got locked. No backup authentication method because you deleted those when you went all in on passkeys. The key is just gone. It's like your house key disappearing the moment your landlord decides you broke a rule you didn't know existed. Now imagine this happening across multiple platforms simultaneously. Maybe there's a new policy change that flags certain activity patterns as suspicious. Maybe it's a coordinated security measure where platforms share data. Or maybe it's just a glitch, an algorithm that makes a mistake. Suddenly you're caught in an automated system with no human willing to listen. You're locked out of everything that relied on that passkey ecosystem. Your email, your cloud storage with 10 years of family photos, your banking app, your work accounts, your social media where you run a side business, your smart home controls, your medical records, even your children's school accounts. Every door you used to walk through just slammed shut at the exact same time. This matters to you because we're already seeing glimpses of this nightmare. YouTube creators wake up to find their channels demonetized or deleted with no explanation. Amazon sellers lose access to their entire business overnight because an automated system flags something incorrectly. People get locked out of Facebook and lose access to Oculus headsets they paid real money for. A dad sharing bath time photos with his wife through Google Photos got flagged by AI. Suddenly, his entire digital life disappeared. It took weeks of fighting to get anyone to review it. Some people never get their accounts back at all. Now add passkeys to this mess and see how much worse it becomes. When your authentication itself is controlled by the same company that can decide you're a problem, you've handed them complete control over your digital existence. Here's what makes this worse than the old password system. Passwords are simple, which is actually their strength. If Google locks you out, you can still log into your bank because your bank doesn't care what Google thinks. But passkey ecosystems are designed for convenience, which means they're designed to work everywhere. That's the whole point. One authentication method across your entire digital life. The efficiency is the vulnerability. The integration is the trap you're walking into without realizing it. And here's the kicker. These companies have zero obligation to give you due process. You don't have constitutional rights with Google or Apple because they're private companies. Their terms of service basically say they can terminate your account whenever they want for virtually any reason. You can appeal, but good luck getting a human being to actually look at your case. You'll get an automated response that copy-pastes the same policy violation you're trying to dispute. You're losing access to the infrastructure of modern life. Some people think this is paranoia, that it won't happen to regular people. But you don't have to be a criminal to get flags by an algorithm. Maybe you're traveling and logging in from a new country. Maybe your account got hacked and someone used it for spam before you even noticed. Maybe you did absolutely nothing wrong and the system just glitched. Automated systems make mistakes all the time. When a password manager makes a mistake, you can recover. When a passkey ecosystem locks you out, it's game over. But here's what you need to understand. You're not powerless. The answer isn't to avoid passkeys completely, because they genuinely are more secure against certain attacks. Phishing attacks become nearly impossible when there's no password to steal. 
The security benefits are real, which is why they're worth considering carefully. The answer is to never put all your authentication eggs in one basket. Use passkeys if you want, but maintain alternative recovery methods that exist outside the ecosystem. Keep backup email addresses that you actually control. Store physical security keys separately, those USB devices that can authenticate you even if your cloud account dies. Use a password manager as a fallback for critical accounts, something that stores encrypted data locally on your device, not just in someone else's cloud. Write down recovery codes on paper and put them somewhere safe. An actual fire safe box or a bank safety deposit box that can't be deleted by an algorithm. Diversify your authentication like you'd diversify your investments. If one tech company decides you're a problem, you don't want your entire life to evaporate. Think of it like not keeping all your money in one bank account. Spread the risk across multiple systems and keep backup plans ready. Don't let convenience override your survival strategy. The five minutes it takes to set up recovery options now could save you months of hell later. The system isn't designed to protect you from itself. It's designed to be frictionless and easy and integrated. These are all great things, right up until the moment they're not. Tech companies will tell you to trust them, that their security is top-notch, and that suspensions only happen to bad actors. But those same companies have proven, over and over, that their automated systems make mistakes. Their support teams are either non-existent or powerless to override the algorithms. You're being asked to hand over the keys to your entire digital kingdom to companies that have repeatedly demonstrated they care more about efficiency than accuracy. Consider the broader implications of this shift in digital power. We're moving toward a world where authentication becomes centralized in the hands of a few corporations with no democratic oversight, no meaningful regulation, no competition in many cases. When you have no alternative, you have no leverage. And those terms can change at any moment without your input or consent. Features you relied on can disappear overnight. Policies you never violated can suddenly apply retroactively. The rules of the game change while you're still playing. This isn't theoretical. We've seen it happen repeatedly. We've watched social media platforms change their algorithms and destroy businesses overnight. We've seen cloud services alter their pricing and force migrations. We've witnessed entire communities wiped out by policy changes. Now imagine that same arbitrary power applied to your fundamental ability to authenticate your identity online. The transition to passkeys is happening whether you're ready or not. Major websites are already implementing them. Some are making them the preferred or even required authentication method. The momentum is building because the technology is genuinely better at solving certain problems. But better technology doesn't mean risk-free technology. Passkeys might be more secure than passwords, but you still need alternative authentication methods for when things go wrong. To recap, passkeys solve specific security problems, but create dependency problems. Unlike passwords, which you control independently, passkeys are stored by companies that can suspend you anytime. When one account gets locked, everything connected to that passkey ecosystem can vanish simultaneously. These companies have no obligation to give you due process, and automated systems make mistakes constantly. Your solution is to never rely on a single authentication method. Maintain backup emails, physical security keys, password managers, and recovery codes stored outside the ecosystem. Diversify your authentication infrastructure just like you diversify any critical system in your life. So here's the real question. Should we adopt passkeys knowing the risks, or should we demand better protections and account recovery guarantees before we hand these companies complete control over our digital identity?